What's up, ST Racing family? Welcome back to the channel. Today on the Dyna, we have a 2019 STI. All right, so this 2019 STI came in with just a Cobb SF intake and a Cobb catback exhaust, and we have since added uh, what would be considered a Cobb Stage 3 Plus Flex Fuel Kit. So we'll take a look at the engine bay and I'll go over the parts. So like I said, uh, Cobb Stage 3 Plus Flex Fuel is what we've added, plus uh, an ETS front mount intercooler kit. So we have Cobb's fuel system, uh, the AEM 340 liter power pump, um, injector Dynamics 1050X injectors, Cobb's fuel hose system. Uh, we also have an IEG air oil separator. We're using Injector Dynamics 1050X injectors, Cobb's flex fuel kit with the pressure sensor. Um, and again, he already had the SF intake on the car when he brought it. So again, like I said, pretty much a uh, stage three plus flex fuel uh, for this 2019 STI. And of course, we'll be tuning it using the access port from Cobb Tuning, the V3. Uh, with it being flex fuel, of course, we're going to do 93 first, and then we're going to go ahead and do E85. So uh, stay tuned here. We'll get started with some pulls. All right, we got a little busy at the shop this morning, so I did not film the 93 pulls. I kind of got distracted, but here are the results from that. So we can have a good comparison for what uh, we do on ethanol. So on 93, on intelligent mode, we made 293 horsepower, 302 foot-pounds of torque. That was about 15 pounds of boost pressure down to between 11 and a half and 12. On Sport Sharp, we made 307 horse, 346 torque. That was around 18 pounds down to about 12, 12-ish again up top. Um, with the weather and stuff we have here right now, um, for some reason we're only making 12, maybe 12 and a half to 13 pounds total peak once we get to Sport Sharp. So we'd like to see about 13, 14 pounds, but right now this is what the car's giving us, so we're not going to force it to do anything it doesn't want to. Again, that was 307 horse and 346 torque on Sport. And on Sport Sharp, we made 314 horse and 373 foot pounds of torque. It's around 20. Uh, I think it was about 21, 21 and a half PSI boost pressure peak, and I think we were able to get 12 and a half up top. So we're going to go ahead and start ethanol here shortly. You'll see those pools, and uh, we'll see what we can get out of it. So we finished up our first pull on intelligent mode uh, on ethanol here. Uh, we made 330 horsepower and 340 foot pounds of torque, uh, which is a good increase over what we made on intelligent mode on 93 octane. Uh, 15 pounds right around to about 12 pounds up top, so 15 peak, 12 pounds at the top. Uh, on 93 we made 293 horse and 302 torque. Uh, on ethanol, we made 330 horse and 340 foot pounds of torque, and here's what the graph looks like. So as we increase boost pressure uh, going up to Sport and Sport Sharp, uh, we expect the torque to come up a lot more uh, than what it is here on Intelligent, but the horsepower will come up a little bit uh, from here, expecting no more than maybe 350 horsepower to the tire uh, on ethanol, and probably around close to 400 foot pounds of torque, seeing as we made just a little over 370 foot pounds of torque on 93. So we're gonna let the car cool off and uh, do another pull here on sport mode uh, shortly.
All right, so we just finished up our second pull on ethanol on sport. Uh, this is about 18 pounds peak, uh, holding around 12 psi is all we've been able to get out of the turbo. On sport, sharp, I think we're able to get around 13-ish, 12 and a half, 13, but on sport right now, uh, 12 pounds uh, up top, 18 pounds peak. We made 333 horsepower, 381 foot-pounds of torque, compared to 93 where we made 307 horsepower, 346 foot-pounds of torque. So. Same boost pressure as 93 and a very, very good gain over it with ethanol. So here's a graph. And uh, we're going to let the car cool down again for a little bit, do our final pull, hopefully one, maybe two more at most uh, for Sport Sharp, which is around, uh, I think we set up around 20 to 21 PSI peak and holding as much as we can get out, which I think today with the weather has only been anywhere from 12 and a half to 13 PSI. So we're going to let it cool off and uh, we'll do another one here shortly. We are finished up with uh, tuning this 2019 STI now uh, on sport sharp mode here on ethanol. We made 340 horsepower, 409 foot pounds of torque, uh, which was a good increase over 93, which is 314 horse, 373 torque. So just to recap on 93, uh, intelligent mode, we made 293, 302 on sport, 307, 346, and on sport sharp, 314, 373. Once we switched it over to ethanol, we had about it was 66 to 68% ethanol content in the tank. We made 330 horse, 340 torque on intelligent, 333, 381 on sport, and 340, 409 on sport sharp. So good gains all around on that. Again, uh, this is what we kind of expect out of a car like this with these bolt-ons. Anywhere from 290 horse to 320 horse on 93 about 310 uh 310 to about 340 350 horse on ethanol just all weather dependent on what the car give uh will will give us uh, again we don't force the car to do anything it doesn't want to do so we take what it gives us uh, again you know we were only able to hold i think it was about 12 and a half at most um boost pressure at peak rpm uh it was very very hot very very humid so that has something to do with a little bit cooler weather it'll probably hold a little bit more than that so overall good gains on the car did exactly what we expected to do and uh, we don't you know for seeing any issues with this car should be nice and fun for uh, for this customer to have and uh, you know in the future I believe he's looking at upgrading to uh, possibly built motor larger turbo so we look forward to working with him on it well thank you all again for stopping on the channel and watching the dyno session if you liked the video please give us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please think about doing so share it with your friends and we hope you have a good one we'll see you again soon